let's just get the most pressing question out of the way. Geek Snacks, and I promise that's not like a home snacks alt, wants to know how significant will the engine upgrade be? I have no idea if this is just a very targeted setup, but how can I not answer it in this exact way? Then he told me of the significance. It will be significant. All right, everyone, I wanna start this video by saying thank you for all the kind encouragement I've received in DMs and random stream chats that I've popped up in. I asked you for your questions in a community post last weekend, and I really appreciate all the replies. I can't answer all of them, but I do have a lot of topics I wanna cover in this video, including what I've been up to, why I took such a long break, some of my thoughts on Hunt since I've been away. I will answer some of the rapid fire questions toward the end, the simple ones that don't require a lot of explanation, but I don't wanna be a tease, so let's do some of the most pressing questions you have, including this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and that one. Okay, I think that's what people want to know, and that's fine. I mean, you're naturally curious if home is to blame every time you kill trade or encounter a bug. So just in the general curiosity, I am in the publishing department, which I'm sure is not nearly as interesting as my extended absence may have made it seem. Publishing is mostly like platform level business stuff. I love Excel now so much. There's no pain in my voice here. A few people asked if I had anything to do with the PAX True Shot or the Caldwell Marathon. No, I did not. I was pleasantly surprised by those, especially the marathon, but I do want to say nailed it. I will say sometimes coworkers poke me for my input as a Hunt Showdown player and I get to share my ideas and perspective that way, which leads me to something very important for the topic of this video. If I'm going to make videos and continue this soiree between you and me, I need you to understand when I share my opinion on something, I'm just speaking as a fan of the game that plays Hunt Showdown a lot. The Crytek team works hard behind the scenes, things and changes won't always be perfect, and I have my own preferences and playstyle. But to shorten it, this channel is still a chill place for people that like Hunt Showdown and have ideas, both good and bad, to make it better. And just to kind of help you understand where I think the line is, because I also don't really know, let me give you an example. I didn't make a video for all of Update 115, which feels totally crazy, because I think Home of the Past would have had a lot to say about the Dolch and the Uppercut getting so much love in that event. So I didn't get to talk about any of those new additions like the Dolch Deadeye and Dolch FMJ or Dolch Dum Dum. I can assure you, I was venting about those things privately and I still scoff every time I see Dolch FMJ in the death report. But does my individual frustration with that ammo type matter? Uh, no. Not really, at least not individually. But the community opinion does, and I can tell you Crytek is receptive to community feedback. I want to make another video soon after this one, which means I can't put all my ideas into this particular video, but I do want to talk about things I've enjoyed and disliked about Desolation's Wake and Update 116. So that'll be another video if you want to subscribe for that or whatever. I can tell you, Hunt has remained my main game, and my fiance and I laugh about it that I finish up a whole workday talking about Hunt Showdown all day, and then immediately jump into the game for a few more hours. Also, I got engaged, not trying to hide that or slip over it, but like, you know, I'm growing up or something. So yeah, I still play Hunt a lot, and all the time playing without actually making videos, it means I just have a bunch of random clips and false starts to videos that I wanted to make, but was just busy or preoccupied like this Terminus Dragon Breath clip. There was going to be something there, but I just didn't finish it. So I guess I could say there was always the desire somewhere to make another video, but I was just busy professionally and personally, and I didn't really miss the race of like, you know, trying to put out a video. Like I didn't need that in a week. So with this return, I'm going to try to balance this schedule in some way. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so that completes probably the minimum requirement for proof of life. Let's close this out with some rapid fire questions. The first one comes from hman7601. How far in the event are you? At the time of recording this, I am level 34 and I've used both of the new weapons a bit, but I don't wanna say my opinions in this video. That'll be the next one 
or maybe a different one because there's another video maybe we'll see <laughs> uh the next question is from jeffero how long are typical bouts of nothing for the channel i almost gave up and thought you had moved on as it was a long wait fair question i don't know the gap for the next video definitely won't be 140 days i can say that um but we'll see what kind of pattern i hit the next question is from forsaken rage what is the objectively correct Dairy Queen Blizzard flavor? Shame me all you want. The best thing at Dairy Queen is not the Blizzard. It's actually the Peanut Buster Parfait. The coma is totally worth it. The next question comes from Knock on Wood. On a scale of 1 to 10, how responsible are you for the center of map boons? I assume that question is talking about the sealed caches, which are kind of like little marketplaces in the center of the map. I would say zero. I had no responsibility for the design or making those, but I'll talk about that more in the next video. And the last question comes from Mark Grew. Grew? Grew. Names didn't get any easier to read. How is the new job treating you and are you excited for things that will come to hunt in the future? Obviously, no need to tell the secrets. To be candid, some days are more difficult than others. It's still a job after all, but I do feel really fortunate usually toward the end of the day when like I just want to go to sleep uh, especially to think about this game that already occupies a lot of my time and bandwidth it is cool to work on it and see the things that are coming which kind of leads me to your next question am I excited for the things that are coming to hunt in the future I definitely am and it's so hard to not want to talk about those things but I'm not going to do it I'm going to behave and I'm just saying, as a fan of the game, I'm still excited for its future. All right, that wraps up this video. Again, thank you for all the nice messages and comments. We will see what a consistent schedule is achievable with this new thing going on. Uh, but until the next video, goodbye. And then he killed the dog.